As the saying goes, a picture is worth a thousand words. And artist Jane Rosenberg has a lot to say about her famous courtroom sketches. So she wrote a book. Alice Gaynor covers courts and crime and often uses these sketches in her reporting. But today, it was all about the artist. Artist Jane Rosenberg remembers every moment from this day in 1983, John Evans' execution. CBS News, they sent me to Alabama for this electrocution. What stands out to me here is the eyes. This is the last, and how the last time he saw something was they put a mask on him. The equipment malfunction, the knee pads caught on fire, the helmet caught on fire. And I felt like I did it. I didn't jump up and stop it. And I felt like I, I just did a murder myself. And it didn't feel right. It was the only time she'd ever been asked to sketch something I like that. Afraid. Though she has sat in numerous say. courtrooms sketching accused killers on trial. One such trial led her to another first in her 40 plus years in the business. We're going to take you somewhere and you can't tell anybody what's going on. Even no, your editors? Nobody, nothing. I just I was like, oh, whoa. She was brought to a warehouse with a makeshift courtroom during the trial of Boston Marathon bomber Johar Sarnayev to look at a big piece of evidence, the boat where he was captured. See the bullet holes? This was the judge. They brought the jurors in here. These are just some of the trials Rosenberg writes about in her new book, Drawn Testimony. Many can attest to her laser focus while sketching, but as a mother, she explains the pain she has felt listening in, especially during the trial of a woman who drowned her two children. I was crying, and I was worried that teardrops were going to get on my pastels. There have been lighter moments, exchanges with defendants. Donald Trump Jr. asked me to make him look sexy. Some, like Ghislaine Maxwell, even turned the paper on Rosenberg and began sketching her from the defense table. Rosenberg's equipment is heavy, her setup down to a science. And though she never knows when the phone will ring with her next assignment, she plans to continue to answer the call for years to come. Art is different. Anything that's handmade, touched by a human, I think it, it adds an element that draws people in. Now, you may be wondering how Rosenberg, who, by the way, is married to a defense attorney, got into the business. She says she loved painting portraits and attended a lecture given by a courtroom sketch artist and then decided to start going to night court at 100 Center Street to learn more. As they say, the rest is history.